Scottish Government will be responsible uh, for paying uh, the pensions uh, of uh, those with uh, state pensions in an independent Scotland, either uh, those who have that uh, when the, we become independent and for those who become uh, entitled to a pension uh, later on. I think another point in the pension front is it is mentioned in the document, but only uh, as Nicola presented it very, very briefly. And I think that was a missed opportunity because uh, I think uh, there could have and should have been in the paper some commitment to improve the state pension uh, in an independent Scotland. Because, we, you know, as we all know, we've got the poorest state pension in the United Kingdom, uh, second only to Romania uh, across Europe. So I think that uh, that was an uh, that, that was an opportunity. I mean, we're, we're talking about build, building a stronger economy and a fairer society. Then pensioners should have been included and uh, in that uh, presentation and, and actually articulated what it could mean to pensioners. They are a very significant part of the voting population in Scotland and we really do need to get them on side and actually make it clear to them that it is to their advantage to vote for independence. The one thing that endures can be used for and it can't be challenged by the unionists since it's their figures. Uh, we collect at the moment, uh, in 2021, there was 11.5 billion of national insurance paid in Scotland. The state pension cost 8.5 billion, and there was another 2.5 billion that went for statutory sick pay, maternity, paternity pay, and redundancy pay. That leaves 500 million pounds left over already, which could go on an immediate pension increase. I remember listening to you say that in a talk, and I also think that there was a bit of a stushy arose on Twitter and social media about the about those facts, although you know they are straight out of jairs. I went and had a look myself, and it's exactly those figures. Um, but 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 you did get a bit of a pile on after you said after you said that. Did they were trying to say that the health service is funded out of national insurance, and it isn't. Yeah. Uh -huh.